Hello, my name is Matt. And my name's Jordan. And welcome to the Minecraft Snapshot 13W36A, which is the first 1.7 snapshot. And oh, there's, there's a ton of cool stuff in this. Um, it's pretty awesome. To be it is, isn't like. it? Yeah. So, like, what you can see here is a load of loads of fancy plants. Finally, which is what we've been waiting for for I ages. Know. These can... being like map builders and things. Like, I know, just yeah. Much and better. He's so good at drawing up the best bits as well, Jod. Go on. Oh, that's it. Flower. Wow. <laughs> wait, wait, give me a second here. So, Ooh. flower pot. I think you can put all of them into flower pots. Well, you should be able to anyway. Ah. Oh, oh okay. The big, one, the big ones can't. That's a bit rubbish. Yeah, but there. the other ones you will be able and to. And all the little ones. Yeah. Put them all into pots. Pot craft. I know. It's so good. Oh, that looks awesome. So, yeah. A load of... Um, these are all, as far as I can tell, cosmetic. Like, they don't do anything. One thing to note is that the original red flower has been replaced with this one, which, you know, no biggie. It's a rose <laughs> I now. thought it was the same one. I know, you can barely tell. And also, as well, this one at the very end, the dandelion, or the, no, sunflower, sunflower even better, it always faces east, so, you know, where the sun rises. So you can always tell which di So it's just a way of being able to tell which direction you're in. So it's you like are. a detection. So that's facing east, so this way is north. And, there's not, you know, you don't have to press F3, so there's no, no need for a technical way of doing it. Um, the next thing I found was this new block, which is the hardened ice block, or the packed ice block. Um, see it's through an, it? It's opaque. No, you can't see through it, Jordan. No, look, see. Mm. I forgot what the word opaque was, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's basically the same texture, except it's opaque. And from what I can tell, the main difference is is that it doesn't melt, which is good. So now there's an ice block which doesn't melt. And I take yeah. it you can still slide about, and it's exactly the same everything. It just doesn't melt. Um, that's, that's a good point, actually. Uh, yep, yeah, slide around. It just doesn't melt. So this okay. can be used in that's like, awesome. yeah, definitely. And I'm assuming the way you make it will be like just... loads of ice at once or something. Yeah, something like that. So we'll have a look, shall we? May as well. It's a snapshot review. It's either four in a circle. Nope. Or okay, maybe it's another oh. crafting recipe yet. Or <laughs> okay. Who knows? And then another block called, it's not got a name yet, but it's called Podzol, if you see there. Tile.dirt.podzol.name. What uh, would that be for? Like, it's for it... a new biome, and I think yeah. the biome might be here, so we're going to go look for it in a second as well. But first of all, the new and improved swamp biome that's caught on fire, which is a bit disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> it's always got lava in it now, does it? Or... I don't know. I think that might just be fluke, but it looks cool. But the main thing to note is that... Um, it's got a different shade of grass. Now, it's not the dark green anymore. It's actually two different shades. This is actually just one biome by the look of it. It's still swampland either side of it. So that's quite nice. It, it, it transitions better into other biomes as well. And also as well, round the, round the edges, it's more broken up. It feels more like a swamp when you're in it. It, it. it works really well with the blue flowers and stuff like that as well. So this is a really nice biome. But this was one of the biomes that was already in the game. If you come over here, this is a brand oh, new wow. biome. This is called the Roofed Forest. That's got, impressive. And we, it was good, we, did, it? we did something once. We did a map where there was a roof. Yeah, it's like, it was like the Twilight Forest. Yeah, Twilight Zone or Twilight Forest. Now, it's, yeah. got giant, it's got giant mushrooms in it. And the main point of this biome, as Jeb said, is that even in the daytime, it's still pretty dark. So this is going to be a dangerous biome in the daytime as well. So, you know. Thick that's... trees, hard to walk around. Yeah, exactly. Yes, that's pretty cool. It feels like a magical sort of fairy one. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? And the grass is a dark shade of the normal. Is darker than normal, and it looks pretty cool as well. Yeah, it does. So coming over here, these things are big. Like if it's just loading up. From yeah, there. yeah, I can see. These biomes are actually really big, but there are loads of other biomes that I've not seen yet. So what I'll probably do is I'll because the main point of this snapshot is of course the biomes it's, it's massive what the hell it's, it's pretty cool <laughs> it actually forest. looks like an amazon it's got the river going through right, it's pretty cool how the river cuts through it yeah and I flew past a um, a, a mountain biome and it actually is a mountain biome now it's proper good okay so we're just going to cut the video there for a second because basically that was about five minutes five or six minutes of us just flying <laughs> forwards looking for fancy biomes and we couldn't find any except for ones that we'd already shown um the biomes are there's out there. There's more to somewhere. show, though. Yeah, but there is more to show, which we just remembred. And that's there's a brand new options menu. whoop de doo but it's pretty good. There's quite, <laughs> lots of, there's quite a lot of changes to it. So the FOV and difficulty are just at the top, so that's nice and simple. Um, the music and sounds. Now, before it was just music and sound. You could toggle both. Now there's a whole load of stuff. There's the master volume, which just does everything. Then there's music. You can now turn down weather, so you can just mute the rain. Oh, if you thank want. God. I know, I know. 
you can mute enemy monsters and you can mute friendly monsters or animals which are good so you can like just mute cows what keep zombies and players like other people running around on servers Walking, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah two blocks and no blocks just those blocks it's fairly self-explanatory and blocks and environment and I'm assuming that's breaking blocks and stuff so like we could have that up we could get rid of that so you know everything else makes sounds however punching out blocks is punching silence blocks would, which yeah. is great for building like you know hate hearing that noise I usually just have it completely silent when we build, but yeah. Yeah. But um, is it me, or is it like the layout's a lot clearer there as well? Yeah, it is. It's more refined, isn't it? Like there was a big, there's not a big gap on the last one, was it? it was no, just yeah. All confined exactly, together. yeah. And then the video settings, that's pretty much how it used to be. That was the old options menu, pretty much. <clears throat> Language. What's snooper settings? Snooper settings, oh, that's been there for ages. Basically, it's in the bug, right. a bug report. So that, oh, that, right, that's okay. okay so Resource that's... packs, on the other hand, have changed quite a bit. So. Oh, yeah. The, you can have more than one resource pack on at once. So say if I wanted to like add on the OCD pack, um, I don't know. And you can like choose up and down and which one goes... like. Yeah, in... and like the order of preference. Like I'm assuming what it'll be is if the top one's missing textures, it'll take ones off the second one and stuff like that. And you can change the order of preference using these little arrows here. It's quite nice, really. It's quite a simple way of doing it. But if you want to just have one selected, you put that on there and it overwrites default. And basically, you can't go with the default. So if the texture pack's missing textures... It'll put default there instead. So, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't really think it was needed. There's whatever. super secret settings as well, but yeah, that might... That's not, that doesn't do anything. I'm yeah, clicking it's... it, not doing anything. Controls, however, you can now keybind absolutely everything. And even better, you can key, you can keybind them to, like, extra buttons on your mouse. So, say, button You know, five, this is just for um, MLG pros and all four. that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, take Minecraft ultra draw, seriously, that's, that's go to you. MLG games. So, yeah, and that's pretty much what that is. And you, and it can support extra mouse buttons now, which it couldn't do before. Mouse sensitivity, I'm not going to mess with that. Invert yeah. mouse for those pe weird people who do. I know, I don't understand that. And it actually supports touchscreen. Touchscreen, that's awesome. I know, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. I am. And then, yeah, that's pretty much the new option screen. Something else that's new to this snapshot is um, Dinnerbone reworked a lot of fishing. Um, now, I don't think everything's in here yet, but basically he said there's going to be three categories of things that you can fish up. There's going to be fish, there's going to be junk, oh, yeah. and there's going to be treasures. Yeah, yeah. It was in I read that as well. Yeah, it was that tweet before. I, I read that and I just didn't com comprehend it and I was like, what the hell? What's he talking about? Yeah, Does yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense now. Um, oh, yeah, that, that picture's changed, Hopefully that yeah. means that fish is now... Fishing is now worth time and actually yeah, decent yeah. in the game. So I'm assuming the junk will be like leather boots and stuff like that that you'll be able to fish, which yeah. is pretty cool. But um, the cool thing is all the new fish. So despite the fact that these all are actual fish, the fish is still called a fish. So, you know, raw fish <laughs> and cooked fish. It's no particular fish, it's just a fish. Then there's raw salmon and cooked salmon. I'm assuming they'll have similar Version, yeah, all food food. eatings and stuff. However, there's also clownfish and puffer fish. Now, puffer fish is is poisonous, but Dinnerbone said in a tweet, um, at, like hinting pretty strongly that that will be able to make a water breathing potion. In fact, shall we see if there's a new potion in there at all? Water breathing anywhere? Yeah, well, there you go. Splash potion oh, yeah. and water huh. breathing. Loop. So there you go. Um, I wonder if there's any new other new ones. But yeah, splash potion of water breathing. That'll be craft. That'll be made brewed from a puffer fish. And then I'm assuming the clownfish will do something else. Yeah, because they, they don't have raw versions of themselves. So. Yeah, probably not yet implemented yet. But, you know, yeah, first snapshot yes. is what we'd expect. You can also get fishing rod enchantments. Now, there's Look of the Sea. Now, I'm not sure what that'll be. I'm assuming that'll I'm going to guess it's more treasures. Yeah, more treasures fish. and more fish, less junk. That's what Look of the Sea is. And there's also Lore, which I'm assuming it just it more. bobs faster. You know, you don't have to wait as long. And I'm assuming that's what Lore is. And those, yeah, those by the look it. of it, are the only two um, enchantments for it, because the rest are just the, the standard ones. Which is pretty awesome. There's quite a lot in this uh, snapshot. I know, yeah. For the first snapshot as well, I'm pretty excited to see what the rest of the update's going to be. Same. Yeah. So, yeah, anyway, on to the next section of the video, which is where we realised we interrupted the first part of the video and we edited this <laughs> in after. It's all a mess, but hopefully the editing hides that. So, yeah. Good enough. Okay, so after looking around, we couldn't find a canyon biome, but you can probably look up pictures online. So we're going to wrap it up here with George's fit new favourite biome, the yeah, Savannah biome. Is amazing. The Savannah, oh, Savannah biome. Yay! It's my girlfriend's name. Yeah. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a pretty cool biome. I'm going to go live in it. It, it actually looks really nice. Mm -hmm. as well. It does, doesn't it? It is, it is pretty damn nice. Love those trees. It's, it's a warm biome. It's next to deserts and stuff. 
But we won't go into all that. Um, this is the first 1.7 snapshot. There's quite a lot in it. Got anything to say, George? Well, I'll see you in the next video, guys.